So the first few items I got from the um, online auction was this sled, which I noticed now on the description that says no runners, and that's right, there's no runners on it. Uh, but I was actually after this uh, baby or doll cradle, um, kind of a, I forget what they're called now, a back cradle or something to that effect. Um, yeah. So I've got one of those. Uh, it's got two coats of paint on it, uh, one dark green and then one kind of a lighter 1950s green. I suspect it's probably 1920s or something like that, or 30s, but uh, still a neat piece. Like I said, with the paint on it and such. Um, very attractive, primitive, very cool. And then there was a uh, cream can and from the last auction they forgot to give me a lamp that I won this wicker lamp it does need a new uh, socket put in it because whoever wired this one just wired in an old, wired in a modern socket in top in the uh, old one so yeah kind of goofy so that's got to get repaired and yeah, and we'll go on to the next bunch of boxes. We've got another box still in the van, plus all these to go through. So stay tuned. Also ended up with these four single trees. They're uh, meant to tie horses to, or fasten horses to, to pull a wagon. So yeah, it uh, sits just, uh, I think, in front of them. So just to tether the horses to the wagon. So anyway, there's four of those. One's not in the best of shape. We'll probably just hit the trash, but oh well. But I've uh, got three that are saleable. Not a whole lot of money, maybe $15 a piece. Something like that, 10 15 So yeah, anyway, we'll continue on to the boxes. So this first box we have, surprisingly, uh, foam parts and also one catalytic heater I believe that's what that is Alita so it's a heater right there uh, that was pretty inexpensive and then phone parts we've got a nice condition case for a wall mount phone right there and let's see we've got a couple Base plates for phones, another case for a, a uh, touch tone phone, another one for a dial phone, and another one for a touch tone or potentially dial phone. I think they're, they have adapters for these. Kind of a neat color though, baby blue, and another some more parts for a wall phone. This one had the cover smashed on it by the looks of it. But uh, good parts. Should be able to retail those on the uh, on one of the Facebook groups, hopefully. And uh, yeah, off to another box. All right, time to some of this. Um, oh, EP on copper again. So that's just scrap to me. Again, EP on copper, just scrap. Another one that's probably EP on copper, yep, more scrap. It's too bad this silver plate doesn't sell, but it's unfortunate. Uh, these are be EP on lead, so they'll get scrapped as well. And more EP on copper. Oh, surprise, surprise. Another EP on copper, I believe. Yep. And I think I only paid a couple dollars for that lot, so it's just meant to be scrap anyway. Uh, that one doesn't have any anything on it, but I'm pretty sure it's brass or copper. Another one that's brass or copper. 
And another EP on copper. <clears throat> Hope I didn't pay more than a few bucks for them anyway. Occasionally, I think I spot sterling, so I end up paying a little more, but... Uh, let's see, anything? Well, we've got some tins, which will just go to the thrift shop, because they're modern. Uh, let's see, another... Webb's Plate. Okay. Hotel St. Charles, Winnipeg. Well, that one will go into inventory. Kind of a neat Winnipeg piece. And it looks like we got radio parts and such. But uh, first, we got a barn lamp. It's kind of dusty, but. It'll sell hopefully. And we've got an explosion proof red lamp, kind of an industrial lamp. So that's kind of cool. Emergency red. So yeah, should be able to sell that. All right, let's see what radio parts I got here. I don't remember bidding on these, but there must be something in the lot that I wanted. But uh, yeah, it just looks like radio parts. I'm not going to bore you with those, I don't think. Well, there's a transformer or something, or uh, not sure. Transformer, I think. Just radio parts, anyway. Maybe I'll lock them up in a lot and get rid of them. Oh yeah, I bid. I bid a couple dollars because there was some new old stock light parts, or what looked like new old stock anyway. So there's that one, and that one. So yeah, that's what I. It was only a couple bucks, so that's what. That's why I bid on them. What's in here? Surprise? No, it's just some battery thingies. <laughs> okay, neck box. And another box. All right. Okay, well, this one's maybe a little more interesting. A uh, bunch of jewelry. Um, don't know if there's anything good in here. But uh, let's dump it out into a... And spread it out and see if there's anything. Okay, we got all the stuff dumped out. We'll see what we've got. Uh, it's a button. Winnipeg, Canada, it says. I'm assuming that's off of a Grenadier, or Winnipeg Grenadiers uniform, or something like that. Or maybe a security guard for the Parliament or something. Who knows? Not sure. Still neat. I uh, got some. Looks like pearls. Let's see if they're real. If they're real, they're all over the floor now. Uh, I don't think they're going to be real. Whoa. Nope. Just rub them on your teeth, and if they're rough, then they're more than likely real. Oop. Oh, geez, all over the place here. Don't think they're real. Um, no, I don't think they're real. Okay. Done with that one. Cellular buttons there. Oh, that one's kind of. Oh no, that's the way it is. Yep. Cellular buttons. Got a clock key, or not a clock key, a music box key by the looks of it. Uh, let's see. Some beads, a deal. little container with nothing in it. Roach. Let's see. Is this one any good? Mm, no, it's not really anything special. Got a bracelet. Somebody loved a Wayne. All right. Somebody had a baby. All right. I uh, got a little mini lipstick by the looks of it. I'm assuming that's what that is. Oh, can't seem to open it. Oh, there's a trick to opening this, obviously. 
and I have no idea what it is. Anybody have any idea how to open this freaking thing? Because I don't. It should just pull off, you'd think. Nope. Oh well. It's a lipstick anyway. That's all it is. Princess Pat lipstick. Uh, some uh, chain for a light. Untangle that later. Uh, pin, railway pin from I don't know what. A uh, little doll head. Looks like it's, yeah, it's just resin. Nothing special. Little bird. And got another bird here too somewhere. Little tea figurine bird. Nothing special. It's got a chip in it anyway. Uh, brass pin of some kind. Nothing special. Nothing special. Nothing special. It's got a chain. It's nothing special either. Oh, maybe Wayne loved Elizabeth. Maybe that's what it is. Anyway. No, it doesn't look like we got anything in that lot. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah. No, I don't think we got anything. Wow, well, that was a waste of money. Whatever I paid. Well, these are Lucite. They might be worth something. Oh well, anyway, that's it, just junk basically, oh well, okay, on to the other stuff, oh this was a RCAF sweetheart pin, but it's missing the uh, insert, so, oh well, okay, next box, let's go. Okay, uh, we've got an Avon. MG, which will go straight to the thrift store because I don't generally deal in uh, Avon unless it's California Perfume Company, which was Avon's predecessor. But this is, yeah, these are no big deal anymore. Oh, that's a cool tin. That's a neat one. Butterscotch, it's awful good. 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 Yeah, anyway. Wee McGregor's. Alright, and then we've got three blue ribbon tins, just uh, cayenne pepper, white pepper, and savory, whatever savory is. Alright, and cooking thermometers, true temp, oh, that's what it is. Might be good for eBay or something, but I don't do eBay anymore, so, oh well. Uh, piggy bank. That's uh, nothing special. Um, let's see. Canadian Pacific Rockies by Byron Harmon. That was a good photographer. Did a lot of railway related postcards. So there's a whole bundle in here. Those will be good for resale. All right. Then we've got turret flat 50 tin, which I already have a, several of. Okay, what else do we got? And we got a bunch of stamps. Oh boy, that's something I don't really deal in. There could be something worth a lot of money in there, and I'd have no idea. And I'm sure not going to go through them either. Okay, I got a stamp lot I'll throw in a bag and put a price on, I guess. Uh, double egg cup again. Yeah, it's got some staining that'll just go to the thrift shop, I think. Okay, a, a um, mustache cup. That's what these are with a little insert so you don't get your mustache wet when you're having a coffee or a tea. So there's one. I'm thinking I've got a few of those. Oh, there's another double egg cup, but it's got a big crack in it, which, who knows, that, uh, that wasn't uh, noted, but no big deal anyway. 
Nothing special. So, let's see. Dessert dish. That one will just go to the thrift shop, I guess, if there's if there's not a set of them or something. Uh, right. And a whistle mug. Whistle your whistle for your milk. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, oh there's a different dessert glass. I guess I could put them out for three or four bucks or something, but I'm already cluttered up with too much of that stuff. I'm trying to get rid of that stuff. Um, it's another Victorian era coffee mug or tea mug, I guess. Coffee mug. So, yeah. Okay. Another Victorian mug. Think of me. But uh, that's what it is, is Victorian. So, during the time of Queen Victoria. Okay. And we got another mustache cup. There. This has got a factory fly in it. But it is a mustache cup. Mustache cups used to be real popular and would sell for $20, $30, $40 a piece or more, but not anymore. One that says Father on it, made by Adams. And uh, you'll see Adams' date and know that is not when it was made. That's just when Adams was established. So there's that. Another Victorian mug, Forget Me Not. So that one's kind of cool with the handle of an angel on it, or cherub, I guess, maybe. Cherub, more than likely. Okay. Another Victorian mug with Papa on it. So most of these mugs I'll put out for a grand total of 10 or $15 a piece. Um, the mustache mugs included. There's another Victorian one, a present, but just a regular mug. Um, the last mug, another, that one's made in Japan. That one's definitely nothing special. It's a little older, it's not Victorian though. And that's it for that box. All right, let's attack this one. Uh, star Bullion Cubes. Yeah, I think that'll just go to the thrift shop. It's got a plastic insert, so it's fairly modern. All right, um, plastic tray, that'll go to the thrift shop. Uh, Crown Sheffield, oh yeah. Some Bakelite uh, handled carbon set. There's that. Okay. Uh, another older, but of real no consequence. Uh, and this is an advertising glass that somebody paid a quarter for, but that's what I was after in the auction. Uh, Parkview Drugs Limited from Winnipeg. Not, not a whole lot of money, $10, $15. But uh, still something. And... Got a bowl, kind of a mixing bowl. That's oh, got a chunk out of it, another chip out of it. Garbage. Okay, so much for that. A couple of teapots, which will be EP'd on copper, probably. Um, I'll probably just end up scrapping those as much as. I hate to sometimes, but there's no market for them. So, yeah. Scrap metal. And another one for scrap metal. That's the teapot, I guess. Coffee pot was the other one. Or vice versa. And then we'll go for something. And let's see. Still got a few things. Oh, bonus! 
that I didn't see in the auction. All I could see was kind of a, a logo on it, but I didn't know what it was. That's the Royal Mail Steam Packer Company. Got a nice little, that's a neat piece. Now that could be worth anywhere from 35 to 100 and a half or maybe more, we'll see. I'll do some research on it and uh, ask the opinion of a fellow I know that's very heavy into steam chip stuff. That could be a very good piece, but I'm happy about that. So I did all right. Good, good, good. Makes up for paying too much for the silver plate stuff, which I did. So I think I paid $27 for that silver plate uh, coffee pot and such and a few other pieces, assuming there was some sterling in there. There wasn't. So that makes up for it. Yeah. All right. Oh, there's a plate from the paw. So, yeah. Arctic Transportation Company. You can see on the uh, sled there. And then we've got Bill, Mr. Shakespeare. That's an Ivorex. I believe is this stuff, but unfortunately it doesn't sell for much anymore. It used to, but it no longer does, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, another plate. This one is compliments of J. Brown and Company Nipua. Oh, that's cool. That's a neat piece. I like that. Got a crack in it though. Oh shoot. Crack in a chip. Oh well. Still, that's a neat early piece. That's probably 1890 thereabouts. Anyway, that's it for that box. On to another. Off we go to another box here. Let's see. Alright. Okay. I got a lot of stuff for the thrift store. Some more cookie decorator such aluminum specialty. Those are probably 60s. Yeah, I'll probably sell those. Yeah, why not? Alright. Uh, plastic mirror. Nothing special. Give it to the thrift store. I got some celluloid. Uh, brush and comb. So yeah, I might be able to put those in one lot and send them back into auction, I think. Uh was mainly after this box. I thought it was hand done, but it's actually factory done, which is unfortunate. But still, neat little box. Comes with a box Fort Dairy Pharmacy. So those are saleable. Okay, tray. And here we've got some hardware. That's door hardware. Um, it's more door hardware. Those are nothing special, I don't think. Oh, just steel knobs. There's three dollar knobs, but the plates and stuff I get eight, ten, fifteen for those. Th that's not. So that's okay. Another one of these hooks. I've got one of these already. I think they're for plants. Um, not sure what that's from. Hmm. Anybody tell me what that is or from? I have no idea. Anyway. Oh, a piece of glass. I guess this must be sample glass or something. Uh, it says Moncrief Specialty Toughened. So whatever that means, I think that's just a sample of some kind for glass. And on to the next. So as the, the uh, video kind of indicated, it was kind of a telephone day, a telephone auction. I got uh, these two in one lot and these in another good phones I'll make money on them for sure so yeah so those are cool and I've got some more phones in another box two boxes three boxes to go through 
And we got another telephone. This one is a wall phone though. It hangs up like so. Kind of a cool phone. And then some battery boxes for phones, I believe. That's what these are. So yeah. Let's see what else. The Admiral Beatty Hotel from St. John, New Brunswick. Got a menu minder that they were asking five bucks for. Uh, it's almost mid-century modern-ish, isn't it? But uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Should I bother putting it out? Yeah, send it to the thrift shop. They can sell it for a couple bucks or something. All right. Um, got a whole thing of light bulbs. Really don't need those either. Not sure. I don't remember those being in a lot, but apparently they were in a lot. And we've got a sharpener, but it's seen better days. Looks like they had ten dollars on it, whoever had it. But it's separated. Oh well. But mainly I was after the scale, is what I was after. This one here, nice early, probably 1880s scale. Kind of almost fur trade era. Oh, neat balance, the weight and everything. So that was a good buy. In the last box, almost to the finish, guys. All right. Okay, we've got some more phones. Got a push button there. Nothing is that special, but uh, oh, this one's cool. There's a unique one with uh, just six buttons. So I assume that's an inter office one. You know, office one, office two, office three, sort of thing. Still cool though, really neat phone. Whoa, guess there's a little, oh yeah. I guess that's where it goes out to all the lines. Okay, and got this phone. Kind of an inter-office one as well. Big. Huge honking thing. A big phone. And let's see. Another phone. Oh, that's a wall mount as well. It's a nice shape. Um, more of a, I guess, not inner office, but a maybe like a hotel phone or something like that. Not sure. Still, very cool phone. Black Bakelite. The brown Bakelite ones are scarce though. All right. This one's kind of odd. This is an AT&T commemorative telecommunications sponsor of the 1984 Olympics. It's got, I don't know, probably $35, $45 retail, I think. It's about about it on them, but still kind of a neat phone. And another wall phone. These are common enough when it comes to phones. Somebody painted a little flower on there. Another 30s phone here. I guess this is room 64, so that's probably a hotel phone, I would would bet. Yeah. And last but not least, I guess they tried to cover it up nice, but this one here, which is a brown Bakelite phone, no damage. Good, because that, that folks, is a $400 phone. Yeah, that's what they're selling for on eBay anyway. These brown Bakelite ones with a wall mount. So yeah, good phone. Hopefully I can clean the 
clean this off, maybe give it a polish with semi-chrome. But uh, yeah, anyway, so that's about it, folks. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks. So let's delve into the last box. We got a speed automatic right there. They're going for, I think, about $45, $65 online, something like that. So I figured I would give it a shot. This one does have a little crack in it, which wasn't noted, but oh well. Still, somebody might like that. Um, totable, rotary totable bin. Still in the box. Nothing spectacular, just a uh, organizer. Don't know what I'd do with that, but we'll see, I guess. And a Bounce Master Model MS BC Fan Flash. So here it is there. Kind of a circular flash. Okay, what else? We've got a Steer Master Viewmaster Stereo Viewer. Uh, this is kind of an unusual one. Not one I normally see. That was the main thing I was kind of after. That was an oddball. Well, it looks like it had a price on it and everything. But there it is there. What did they have on it here? Uh, stereo lighted viewer. Five ninety original cost five ninety five, and there's no price on it. Something bought in nineteen ninety one. So somebody had a either a little store going or something. Who knows? But uh, there's that one. Okay. Let's see. What else we got? Oh, we got Polaroid. Oh uh, yeah, and this one. These are good cameras. These are the folding Kodaks, or not Kodaks, sorry, Polaroids. Very cool. They, uh, I forget now. There we go. There's, there we go. That's how it pops up. These are actually in demand now. So yeah. I'm not sure how to get it back. Oh, here we go. There we go. Something like that. Anyway, not going to mess with it right now. Uh, comes with manual and everything else by the looks of it. Uh, let's see. Bounce Master Fan Flash. That's for that flash. Polaroid Corporation. Then we got a Samurai Portrait Flash Kit. It's a little newer flash by Kyocera. So yeah, it's a more modern flash. Probably don't need to see that. All right, what else? All right. Uh, some more flashes. I assume this is for Polaroid, but I'm not sure what it's for. ITT, that could be. Some sort of battery pack, very common Hawkeye Instamatic. Uh, we got some flashes for the Polaroid there. there this, there's some other instructions and stuff, but and we got uh, we got some headphones of all kinds. Uh, some telephone headphones. These are Caliphones. These might be okay. And there's a realistic. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have to get digging a little bit online, I guess. Uh, some scrap, scrap copper by the looks of it. Silver plated copper plates in the scrap pile. And got some more headphones, all telephone headphones though. You can see there, there's a whack of them there. But uh, yeah, a whole ton of them. I guess for uh, operators and that sort of thing. Let's 
what they seem to be for. But um, yeah, kind of unexciting, but still, bone collectors like those. And then we got two of these. Sacode, this inter office telecom, or tele, yeah, tele, tele, intercom, not telecom, intercom type phones. Here we go. Got two of them, identical. And then another neat phone. Uh, another neat one right there. And yeah, right there. So that's kind of cool. And then we have some more headphones. All kinds of headphones. So yeah, we've got headphones galore. More headphones, headphones. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.